QVC main channel um, and their preseason garden mm -hmm, event exciting. coming up all day tomorrow. So if you love being out in the garden and you love the great outdoors, you are on the right channels tonight, that's for sure. This is from Plow and Hearth. It is another one of our clearance items, everybody. And this is a great one because if this is a look you've always wanted for your garden and maybe the price has been just a little tough for you, how about if we take some money off? So this is 20% off the regular QVC price. We have it on a four pay easy pay plan. It's from Plow and Hearth, so certainly a brand you're familiar with and that you've come to trust. Um, Nancy Brandmuller back with us again. Hi, Jill. Um, Hello, and just so you know, overall, this is going to be about 52 inches tall. Is mm -hmm. that right? Or, or 89 inches. Sorry, 89, 89 inches tall, it's 52, 52 inches, inches wide, mm -hmm. 18 inches front to back. Right. And it is an actual arbor yes. with a gate. A working gate. Yes, Look exactly. A garden gate. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Isn't it great? Is it, like what? So so my first question is, how much work is it to put together? Well, it took me, I, I did it by myself, and yes. I am horrible with directions and following directions. It took me about an hour by okay. myself. So All if right. you had help, you know, and if you're better at following directions than I am. Do I need a gazillion different tools, or is it just uh, it like comes a basic screw? Oh, it the comes tool with comes the with tools it. you need, yes, Tools, exactly. screws, everything come with yeah. it. And it kind of so. looks like you're just piecing together it bits is. of the arch and things, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's great. really great instructions, but this is such a beautiful piece. If you want that statement piece in your garden, something's nice. going to be there year after year after year year is going to frame your garden be that place I had this out in my garden I took my daughter's prom pictures in it people have been saying oh, this would be great. great for a wedding yeah it is so beautiful and this is made out of uh, tubular iron and so it's got all kinds of scrolls and everything it's designed to allow plants to grow up it so those That's climbing great. vines like yes. um, you know climbing roses or mm -hmm. honeysuckle or um, clematis uh, clematis you know, right pretty Ex yeah exactly uh, mandevilla I love growing mandevilla so you've got all this beautiful scroll work it has a lot of hearts in it too which is kind of really perfect for this time of year and that is done by um, you know this beautiful metal work and plow and hearth took these designs from iron grates that they saw in Europe mm -hmm. and so really designed these almost in window shapes I think and so it's really just a beautiful work of art. How would you describe the color of this? Um, I would say this is not a really stark black like you see wrought mm -hmm. iron. It's got a little bit more of a gray tone to it, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Not really gray, not that right. metal, but. And almost like a little brown too. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I think if you're trying to tie it into oil rub bronze look, mm -hmm. it'll work. Certainly. If you're trying to tie it into wrought iron, it'll work. Yep. You're trying to tie it into driftwood and grays and taupe tones, mm -hmm. it'll work. So it's very, very versatile, which I love. Exactly. How am I securing it into the ground or wherever I'm putting it, Nancy? Glad you asked. So we do not have the stakes on it because we are on just, you know, a, a regular yes. floor. But it's going to come with four stakes that are about 10 inches long. This is going to be secured in the four corners of this arbor. And so this is just going to go right into the ground. Please make sure to sink it all the way down right okay. to here. And so your arbor is laying even. So that's going to secure it. Mine cool. has been out in my yard for over a year and a half. No problems, no matter what nice. the weather has yeah. thrown at it. So it's really sturdy and it's just that touch of Charming. elegance it is yeah so it's many like people this idea of that secret garden yes exactly. right yeah exactly yeah I mean just it's one of those things where and again it doesn't have to be the entryway into your garden it can just like as you saw there there was a little patio with just like that little bit of an opening guy you put that there then you you know plant your flowers so that they can trail over it Gosh, you know, that'll just be so pretty. It is. And something beautiful to look at. Something that, you know, in the wintertime, you can put some of your outdoor lights mm -hmm. all over it and make it more of a holiday motif if you want sure. to. Sure. You could really have a lot of fun with this. Yes, there are just so many ways to be able to enjoy this. Whether you're creating like a, a vantage point that this is kind of like dividing the closer part of your uh, garden from the further part and you just want to have it like the entrance to the further part, like a secret garden, like you mm -hmm. said. Maybe you want it to be closer to your house as maybe uh, the entrance to a walkway that you have but no matter where you put it it by itself it's a beautiful structure that just adds that elegance and kind of that sense of welcome when you have a gate it sort of says welcome to people you know yes. to have this to you know kind of um, have it as the front of your walkway and it does have like a little working latch that you can close Cute. right there mm -hmm. I love the beautiful scroll work that's right here that has sort of looks like hearts but that same kind of design 
is mimicked on the side here, and that's what allows those plants to grow up here, as well as even these scroll work pieces that are in these two arches, mm -hmm. in the front and on the back. So lots of places for beautiful plants to kind of grab onto. I'm almost, I'm looking at this too. I don't know, some of you may think I'm crazy for saying this, but I'm looking at it this way. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost thinking like if you had some outdoor furniture and you sure. put them sort of like, you know, nestled within there a little bit, or maybe you had one little like oversized chair. It's almost Absolutely like the could. chair would be facing this way. Right. And you could That's, sit underneath this. That would be you know? so and pretty. And you have all these beautiful flowers and things mm -hmm. trailing over you. Certainly like, could. Wouldn't that be so pretty um, just to go sit outside? So you wouldn't be using the gate, you know, to open and close, right. but rather almost the way a headboard would be on a bed. Right. That would kind of that's be the, the backdrop. Background. The background. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's so, a great way. I mean, use it how you see fit. You're, you know what how much room you have. And can I also say, even if you have um, a smaller deck or patio, this is something that you can find a way to kind of, you know, sure. make make work in those spaces. Exactly. You can put it in the corner of your patio and put those seating uh, like chairs or a yeah. stool or bench. It would be really cute with a little Great bench. with a bench. Like a little wooden yes. bench in here. So that could be your little nook to be able to mm -hmm. go and read in the morning or have your cup of coffee. And it really can be used in so many different locations and like I said a lot of people have said they're getting it for a wedding mm -hmm. come summer but then they're going to put it in their garden mm -hmm. and I used it to take pictures of my daughters you know when they were going yep, to prom I love that. or you know just that you know those family pictures that you always take you know we had those lamppost pictures first day of school yes well how fun if this can be your place to have the family pictures so as the kids grow they grow up yes. against the arbor and it's just um, such a great gathering place and it's just a, a focal point too. It kind of frames your yard. Some of you too have, when you've called in and told us about the beautiful properties that you have, if you have a pond or things mm, like yes. that, wouldn't this be pretty down by the pond oh, with so that yes. bench as you were talking about? Maybe that's a place where you sort of sit and remember. Maybe you have a place where, you know, it was your dad's favorite tree um, and now you can put this arbor there and mm -hmm. you can go sit there sometimes. It's like you're spending time with him even if he's passed on. You exactly. know, I mean, it's just, um, it, it's a beautiful piece to have. There's only six dozen of these left. There is some assembly, but all the tools are included. Mm -hmm. The measurement, again, it's going to be about 89 inches tall. When it's staked in the ground, it'll be 79 inches tall, 52 inches wide, 18 inches front to back. First day, we're presenting it at this low of a price. And of course, you have that great easy pay plan as well. Thanks, Nancy. Thank nice you. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. All right, moving on, everybody, in this busy two hours of patio and garden. And we're going to spend some time now.